name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing natural treatments for cholera. Cholera is a highly infectious and very serious condition. It is strongly recommended that you see a regular medical doctor. However, if this option is not available to you for some reason, or you wish to help a cholera patient recover faster and with fewer complications, then listen on. First off, you need to determine if what you are dealing with is in actual fact cholera. Cholera is a highly infectious bacterial disease. The cholera bacteria causes extreme watery diarrhea and a small intestinal infection. A small intestinal infection. The small intestines infected that you get through eating contaminated food or most, most often drinking contaminated water. Cholera is most common in children under the age of five years, but it's not limited to this age. Cholera can produce horrible epidemics because of its extreme contagious quality. Epidemics of cholera in the 19th century have killed tens of millions of people worldwide. Within one to five days of ingesting the cholera bacterium, a person will develop symptoms that range from mild to severe. These symptoms include a watery diarrhea with a fishy smell, stomach cramps, dry mouth and skin, dry mucous membranes, loss of skin elasticity, excessive thirst, dehydration, low urine output, leg cramps and muscle cramps elsewhere, heart palpitations, nausea and vomiting, low blood pressure, exhaustion and weakness, sunken eyes and irritability and restlessness. The watery diarrhea may contain flecks of mucus and resemble rice and water. A person with acute diarrhea discharge can lose as much as 10 to 18 quarts of fluid a day. This causes severe dehydration rapidly and can kill because of it. The dehydration of cholera can lead to kidney failure, electrolyte shock, failure, uh, electrolyte failure, shock, coma, and death. The cause of cholera are the ingestion of the bacteria through contaminated food or drink. Raw seafood, such as oysters, are particularly susceptible to contamination. Poor hygiene and undercooked foods are also responsible. Natural disasters, such as floods and earthquakes, can also lead to cholera epidemics. This happens because clean drinking water and food become scarce. Water waste disposal is also affected by the disaster and poor hygiene increases and so the chances of the cholera bacterium spreading are very strong. Even though you may live in a country like the USA, the possibility of cholera is present if a natural disaster such as it occurs, so information on how to care for yourself and your loved ones is important. In traditional medicine, a cure for cholera generally entails antibiotics and rehydration it, therapies in a hospital setting. Natural home remedies for cholera are as follows. First off, the patient needs to drink lots of fluids. Water and herbal teas are best, and lemon juice and water, as much as they possibly can. Next, Create a solution to replenish the electrolytes lost by a diarrhea and vomiting. Mix a half of teaspoon of salt and six teaspoons of sugar in about four cups of water. Then drink this solution many times throughout the day. Give the patient a hot bath soak, as hot as they can stand for a minimum of 20 minutes. Do this daily. Now, if you can catch it early enough, a hot enema, as hot as you can stand it, will stop cholera in its tracks. 
If you don't catch it in time, the hot enema will make the disease far less severe. The enema to use is two tablespoons of bayberry bark, white oak bark, and or white wild cherry bark. Steep these granulated barks in four quarts of boiling water for 30 minutes. Strain and use. Give, get the patient to hold the enema as long as possible. Give this enema every day. Apply hot water compresses to the entire area of the stomach. When cool, replace with more hot water compresses. Do this three times and then sponge the patient off with tepid water and allow the skin to dry. For the vomiting that accompanies cholera that has mucus in it, get the patient to drink one pint to one quart of weak peppermint or spearmint tea as quickly as possible. Lukewarm and then get them to vomit it all out. After the vomiting is done and the stomach is cleared out, get them to drink a cup of hot and strong peppermint tea. This will great re greatly relieve the patient. If the vomiting of mucus happens again, repeat. If the patient is too weak to vomit, give them strong and very hot peppermint or catnip tea. This will relieve the stomach. Two hours after the peppermint or catnip tea has been taken for the vomiting, then give the patient a cup of strong and hot gold seal, gentian, and bayberry bark tea. Eat two to three cups of plain probiotic yogurt every day till you get a, get a permanent relief from this condition. Add some banana slices to the yogurt to get additional benefit. You could also create a delicious smoothie added with yogurt and then drink it a few times per day for quicker recovery. Next, grate a small piece of ginger and then mix it with one teaspoon of honey. Then you eat this mixture slowly to promote the digestive process and calm the stomach. As an alternative, you could make a fresh ginger tea by simply adding a few thin slices of ginger to one cup of boiling water. Then add several black peppers and mint leaves and then strain it and drink. Drink several cups of this tea daily. Another good beverage for cholera is to mix equal quantities of coconut water and cucumber juice to prevent the excessive thirst and to help prevent dehydration. Another tea for cholera is to steep half a nutmeg in half a quart of boiling water. Add to this tea a half a quart of coconut water. Drink a half a cup at a time to lessen cholera symptoms throughout the day. Turmeric is another important herb to take while battling cholera. Make a tea with turmeric and ground black pepper and drink all through the day. In all cases, it is important to remember that cholera is extremely contagious and all waste products of a cholera patient should be disposed of effectively and you must keep everything very clean and very hygienic. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with the latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.